Hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. Um, wanted to do a quick video because I get a ton of calls and a ton of people that discuss, you know, hey, Credit Karma said my score is XYZ. Credit Karma said that, um, you know, my score is a 680 and you pulled my score and it created a score drop and now it says it's a uh, 630. I want to talk about Credit Karma and kind of uh, the differences of it and whether or not it is something that you could actually base your score off of or if it's something that you need to um, kind of investigate into deeper. So Credit Karma is something that we typically use as an educational score. Credit Karma is based on what's called a Vantage score. Vantage scores are the same scores that your insurance companies use and other places like that. The mortgage companies, a lot of the car dealerships, things of that nature, they use what's called a FICO 8 scoring system. This is an actual scoring system that is used in order to determine your risk and the debt and everything else that is um, involved in that. So a FICO 8 score is what we use. We do what's called a tri-merge. A tri-merge is pulling all three scores together and then uh, going off the middle of those three scores. If for some reason you don't have three scores, then it is possible that um, maybe one of the, the credit agencies isn't being reported to. There's some credit companies that will only report to one agency. Uh, Equifax is a very common one that a lot of places will um, definitely report to. But that being said, so the Vantage score is more of an educational model. Companies like Credit Karma do not have uh, the access to the actual algorithms that are used in order to determine score um, and get a, a raw number to actually qualify a person on. So and I just want to say what's up to everybody. I want to say what's up to Tiffany. How's it going? My grandma Gloria. Hey, what's going on? You know what? Billy Alt's on here. Let me bring Billy in. Uh, let's see. They'll receive, okay. A company called 700 Credit Repair. So I send anybody that needs some credit help over to Billy Alt. Mr. Billy Alt. Hey, I, I, I hate to pull you in just randomly, buddy, but I see that you're in your car. You leave me over and say Oh, I had the wrong. I thought I had my Billy Alt shirt. Yeah, I pulled over. I thought I had my Billy okay, Alt. Cool. I was say, this is my name tag, but it's not. <laughs> What's, are you wearing a break free shirt? I'm wearing my, yeah, I'm wearing a BFA shirt. Oh, All right, really that's weird. cool. I mean, we know that, that Ryan Steumann helps quite a few people out, too. God, I'm getting washed. There we go. Let's take the wash out. So I know you saw the beginning of this video, Billy. Um, a lot of clients, they come to me and they say, hey, Alex, you know, my, uh, my credit score, according to Credit Karma, is a 680. Can we go ahead and buy a home? And then we pull their credit, and it's a 640. And the first thing they say is, hey, you dinged my credit by pulling that. Obviously, we know yeah. that's not the case. So What's what's the biggest differences on the surface between uh, Credit Karma and educational scores like that and actual FICO 8 score? What's up, Vincent? What's up, Vincent? You there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So, you no, what I was asking you is, is, is the difference between, you know, a lot of us have Credit Karma. Right, I got and, you. And we see a score on there, but then when so, we get our, our credit pulled, so, it's different. Yeah, so FICO, FICO, there's FICO scores and there are Vantage, Vantage scores, and they're different calculations. The, the, the mortgage industry, your lending environment uses FICO scores, specifically a software of, of FICO 8 is what the majority use. So that algorithm, and then, Alex, to go a step further on FICO, there's FICO bank card, there's FICO mortgage, there's FICO auto. You know, there's all these different versions because if I'm lending money for a mortgage, I want to know, how your credit is, but more specifically, I want to know how you pay your house payment. I want to know, you know, and, and so it, 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 it looks for different things in the algorithm. Um, Vantage is an awesome, um, Vantage is an awesome score, and we actually use it in, in, uh, in a Vantage type score for tracking purposes. Um, okay. you, can, you can go to my FICO and get a, a report monthly and check it and not have an inquiry, but it's like 50 or 60 bucks a month. It's expensive. Credit okay. Karma's free. I can't use Credit Karma to dispute because they don't have account numbers. It's only two bureaus. It doesn't have all the info I need. But what it does do, it'll show you're starting. It has At least it has a measurement of a score. And if you're trying to increase your score and better your scores, you'll have a starting point. And their tips and advice are great. You know, it, it, They'll come and say, hey, you can gain 40 points by paying down uh, these cards or whatever or remove this collection and, and, and gain 30, which doesn't help. Doesn't matter because it's a vantage score, but if a, it, but if it goes up, the FICO is going up too. So it doesn't matter. Right. It's not for lending purposes, but for, for for fixing your credit stuff. It's a great resource. 
So do you typically, I myself, I typically see large swings. You have, uh, what's up, Cassie? Hey, uh, also, Billy, when we get off this, if you can send Tiffany Miller your contact info. But anyways, back on track. Hey, Vince, so, will you send that? You, I'm done. I'll, I'll handle it. Do what? I got you. Okay. Um, typically, you know, people say, hey, I've got a 680 with Credit Karma, and then you pull their credit, and it's different than that. And I assume the, the reason behind that is because the scoring models are much different. And the yes. FICA wave scoring system, the algorithm is proprietary information for the credit bureaus, correct? Correct. Um, Vantage doesn't put the same emphasis on balances that FICO does. So you'll see a huge swing when you have high balances. And we'll gotcha. see 100 points one way or the other. Sometimes they're spot on. But I'll tell you what, when you have low balances under 10%, you, that, that Vantage score, you're, you're within a couple points of a FICO typically. You, you use their real close. It's the balances that, that, that that's what makes that swing so big because 35% of the score comes from your balances for FICO, and that's not the case on, on Vantage, which is the scoring model that Credit Karma uses. Right, right. And other companies, so Stephen commented that uh, his Equifax was the same at his bank as his Credit Karma. Um, you know, and, and that may be possible because of what the pool that the bank is doing. If they're doing an auto pool or a credit card pool or looking correct. at uh, updated information, they may use the Vantage scoring model, correct? Still there, buddy. Billy, come back. All right, so we've lost Billy temporarily. He should be back with us any minute now. Um, but I think, you know, a lot of, you got to keep in mind, the FICO weight is what we use as lenders to qualify people. So you may different places. Yeah, it's an unsecured loan. But, Stephen, the biggest thing is we don't, use, we don't know what a, uh, scoring model those places use in order to qualify so you know that's going to make a big big difference when it comes to it and i'm bringing billy back here um is is what they use to qualify so that being said you may see a a higher score because your bank may be doing an unsecured card and maybe only pulling equifax using the uh the vantage scoring system as their primary scoring system because they don't want to pay the extra money for the equifax fico 8 score so you may see those same scores going through uh, local banks, credit card companies, things like that. But when it comes to lending, pretty much across the board, to my knowledge, we use a FICO 8 system, which is completely different than Vantage. Billy, you back with us, brother? You can't hear me? I can hear clearly now. All right. I'll Sorry, guys. Billy, the biggest reason why I want to bring him on here is when it comes down to it, Billy knows the, the, the things that are necessary in order to get this done. Like I said, you know, Billy is my go-to guy anytime I have a veteran, especially a veteran that's in need of, of uh, credit repair. I send him to Billy. Billy treats him as a top priority. I work closely with Vincent uh, over there at 700 Credit Repair. They're based out of Dallas, Texas. Let me tell you, these are some American motherfuckers. I've stayed with Billy before, you know, we hang out, have a good old time and everything else. But, but more importantly, I get the follow-up. I get the emails every month that say, hey, this is something that a lot of uh, companies don't do. Now, the other end of it, there are other great credit repair companies out there. Um, Sam Parker's a great company, you know, but this is who I choose to continuously do business with. I don't know what's going on with Billy's end. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is, is, is use Credit Karma as a qualification, you know, get an idea, let's monitor our credit, let's do things like that. Let's not take it as, you know, hey, this is the best thing since sliced bread. Also, the other thing that you have to keep in mind when we have credit pools for uh, mortgage purposes, yes, it's going to show an inquiry on your credit report, but it may not show... and we'll have to do another one at some point. Um, it's going to have a hit on your credit score. There's no question about it because that's how it works. It's an inquiry. It will show us an inquiry. Will it drag your credit from a 680 to a 640? No, it should not. Could it and would it ever? I mean, I guess anything's possible. Uh, Billy, I know you're saying you can't hear me. Can anybody else hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, please. Anybody. Anyone that's watching, let's get some thumbs up rolling so I can see that you guys can hear what I'm saying. 
If not, I'm just wasting my breath, literally wasting my breath. Um, I'm hoping everyone can hear what I'm saying, though. Okay, we got some thumbs up there. We're good. So, like I said, you know, getting your credit pulled for a mortgage, that's not necessarily going to drag your score down. What's going to have a more a larger impact on your score is if you go out to buy a car and you have 15 credit pulls, or you go out to get a credit card and you have 15 credit pulls from that. Um, a lot of people say scores are rigged. I don't believe that they're rigged. You know, here's the thing. Um, the score has a reflection on your payment history over the last 6 to 12 months. There's items that have an effect more than others. You know, if you have something like uh, uh, a house payment and you make a late payment on a house payment, it's going to have a much bigger impact on your score than if you have a late payment on a credit card. If you have a credit card that you have 70% of the balance used, it's going to have a huge effect. The idea is to keep the balance below 30% of the high credit line in order to show that you have positive pay history and not over utilization of debt itself. So um, those are things to keep in mind. Let's see an inquiry for a mortgage within 30 days of the first is one inquiry. And that is true because the federal government passed a, um, I don't wanna say a law, but they passed a, a bill, so to speak, that says, you know what, we know that consumers are gonna shop around, their scores shouldn't be impacted due to uh, them shopping, we're going to allow that inquiry to be the one inquiry that hits for that 30 days. Um, and so that's a very valid point. You know, if you are shopping around for a mortgage, it's going to count as one. Now, if anybody tells you outside that period it's going to count as less, they're lying. Here's the thing I know about Billy Alt. He knows what the fuck he's talking about. I've sat there and listened to this guy. I've listened to a ton of different credit people. The man knows what's going on. He's told me about things with my personal credit that I can do to improve. When it comes to my credit profile, I only trust Billy Alt and his team with it. That's my personal opinion. Um, that's the company I use. That's the company I recommend all my clients to. Once again, there's great companies out there. There's no, this isn't me saying that Billy Alt is the bee's knees. He's the best of the best. But this is the man I pick up the phone and call and say, hey, man, what's going on with this? So anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video outlining the difference of the FICO eight model compared to the Vantage score model, compared to the Credit Karma model, compared to the Capital One model. Bear in mind all that information is proprietary information of the credit companies and those credit companies own that information and charge for it. There's no question about it. So uh, thanks again for tuning in guys. Billy, please reach out to any of these people if they ask for your help. Guys, thanks a lot. Hope everything's going great. Make Friday a big day. It's important for everyone. It's still a percentage of your work week. So while everybody else is leaving money on the table, get your ass out there and hustle. We'll talk to you soon.